Okay, well, uh, so with that sorted out, uh, let's go back to <laughs> um, our matchup, which is the semi-final number one. <laughs> so it will be Sun Tzu versus Sun Tzu NA. So we know what the predetermined picks are for Sun Tzu, but how does that match up against Sun Tzu NA? So it appears Sun Tzu NA are um, valuing elephants very highly. Uh, they have multi AD three spears and Germanica three swords, uh, same as their EU counterparts. But then they have Arminius three cavalry and Hannibal three elephants as well. So they're clearly prioritizing the uh, speed on their cavalry to rather than the fighting power to uh, ensure they get vision and scouting when and where they need it and also to make their cavalry as hard to lock down as possible and uh, it's looking like they're wanting something with a lot of punching power to uh, break through lines and cause some chaos with this elephant pick uh, also could just be because Gunsling was on their team so don't know whether he plays anything else apart from Bobcav. Okay, and we've just got six minutes ago Sons of Zeus 1 0 over uh, Rebel Alliance. Uh, they are going into their second battle now. So that quarterfinal is slightly lagging behind, uh, which means that Sons of United is still waiting for their opponent. But we have our semi final uh, going underway, hopefully soon. So, Kappa. Such fun. Tons of damage. Okay, <clears throat> so how does the bracket look like right now? Um, what? I don't know. Uh, English grammar, always confusing. We've got Sun Tzu 2-0 over Aquila Polonica. Sun Tzu NA 2-0 over Old School. I don't know how it went. With, like, who won which battles? So, well, I just give. Sunso and A won the first one, old school won the, the second one, and Sunso and A the third one. Might have been different. We know that Sunso definitely won the third one. Doesn't really matter. It's 2 1. Well, it looks like we've got a lobby link up for our semi finals. Yep, I'm just updating the overlay. I'm uh, not overlay. Um... The bracket, okay, it is. And so far, we have three Sunsu teams in the semi-finals, with the fourth team not decided yet. It would, and it will be the Rebel Alliance or Sons of Zeus. And I believe we are being joined by Corwin and uh, Hitzox for this. Ah, uh, uh, yes, that's that's so, true. Yes. So. If any of the viewers feel like watching a different stream, that definitely isn't as good as my one. <laughs> you know who to go to. Yep, Corwin, um, definitely an experienced arena player, uh, can provide a lot of insights. He was supposed to stream with me uh, multiple times already, um, but that kind of never happened. So even though he was invited, I think, to stream every single Sunset tournament, this is actually his first. That he streams. Uh, we can already see him. Uh, yeah, Mongo's have to jump to the other side. Yep. Always red side feels bad, man. Hmm. Well, that's to keep things consistent. Speaking of keeping things consistent, I should remove the Aquila Polonica and 2 0 thing. 
Because it's 0, 0 and not in between Aquila Polonica and Sun Tzu, but... Uh, where's Sun Tzu? Oh, here it is. Sun Tzu on the left and Sun Tzu NA on the right. So Sun Tzu NA team very quickly joined the lobby. Um, and I see they are missing, actu they are actually missing their captain. Convert Axel um, had to leave. Uh, now it's uh, still for the trap taking over uh, the team captain responsibilities uh, for their team. So let me quickly count for that. Okay, uh, so for the delay, uh, it looks like uh, things have been set. Now both streamers that didn't stream very well before now are streaming very well. So that's good. Um, speaking of which, for the final three, oh, they're just doing picks in the Discord channel instead of the game lobby chat. Whatever works for them, both uh, ways are valid. Okay, let me just grant um, Stolfo the powers of a team captain. Ooh, Eric Swank rolling out a hundred out of one hundred. Oh, oh that, a, a very is... strong statement. Oh, Sonsu are well, at a very huge advantage right yeah, now. So Sonsu's rolling game is pretty weak from what I can see so far. Uh, so. Cancelling it with 66 and Koyos give like 13. Keep yeah, Koyos I can. mean, but before the, uh, we know the predetermined picks, we know the rolling power of each team, and based on that, at this moment in time, before we see more from the picks, I'm gonna have to gonna have to give the favor towards Sunzu and A. Yep, definitely. And during our trainings, they have been showing from a very, very strong side as well. So even though they're a young team, uh, well, it's Sunzu and A actually supported by Sunzu Yu, um, by Satoras Fixen, and I think it was Deathwing? Yeah, it was Deathwing. But well, that's when he's in the starting lineup, it seems, or maybe he's just not there. Yeah, he's just not there. Okay, since we have everyone in the lobby, let's get a pick some the So that's Sun Tzu 4. And since we are in the predetermined picks phase, let's have a look at the predetermined picks. For Sun Tzu, it is a reminder, I guess, for our viewers. Uh, it is Miltiades, 3 Spearmen, surprisingly not Jojo, uh, Leonidas, 1 Spear, Double Pikes, Kanane, Triple Slingers, uh, Germanicus, 3 Medium Roman Infantry. For Sun Tzu NA, it is... there it is. Also Miltiades, 3 Spearmen, Arminius, Triple Cav, also Germanicus, Medium Spearmen, uh, Swordman, not Spearmen, uh, and Hannibal with three elephants, so I imagine that's Gunslinger. Sounds a damn game. Oi! As Jackie controlling. I'm back. Sorry oh, about hello. that. They've missed some trolling. That's pretty much it. Tr missing trolling? That's the best part. Yeah, I know. Okay, we have Koyus can strike locked in. Jojo is going to play those slingers. And the last remaining pick is uh, Germanicus Watson. So far we have seen Spanat and Pardonum defaulting to that pick. And Arkinon also picking uh, those swordsmen uh, later on. The Arcanon is also a very well-known Javiman player. Uh, Javins are actually his main unit, uh, but that that role was given to Schmirch uh, before. Uh, well, in the past because of Light Artillery, which Arcanon I don't think he plays. Um, well, he does play Light Artillery. He even played a match with me of that, but not on like a tournament level, obviously.
Yeah, from what I I gathered talking to him, he's uh, he's leveled it up and he can definitely see its uses, but he's not a fan of playing it. Um, I always oh. roll low. Is bad then? Okay, so that's it's Sunsu and A4. Which they already locked in Astolfo, Nuberto and Gunslinger. So the remaining peak was what was it? Do you remember? Uh they had elephants, barbcats, milky spears and germanicus. Yeah, so they're locking the germanicus lock in. At least I think that's what it was. I'll double check. Um, yeah, it was Germanicus, three medium swords. Okay, now he's locked in. Uh, yeah, I thought that stopped working. <laughs> But yeah, I know there's a white on like a text thread, so maybe Alex can figure it out. You roll a hundred again, so I, I smell cheating. Okay, so with Kano locked in, it's Sun Tzu 1. It's very difficult to feel like with Sun Tzu and Sun Tzu and I. And with Sun Tzu, Sun Tzu, Sun Tzu everywhere. And the Sun Tzu and I has a lot more Sun Tzu underscore uh, on their team. Right on the OG Sunsu team. Okay, it's three elephants. Uh, Magic that gunslinger. And Jacker picking elephants again. I think he picked elephants in every single battle, right? So far. Um, everyone we've seen, yeah. Yeah, but that's also considering that um, so far every single of their opponents uh, had. Mm. Elephants, elephants as the predator. Yeah, exactly. So they're, they're just um, saying elephants are the best counter to elephants. Well, that's actually heavy artillery is best counter to elephants, but it's not allowed. So the next best counter to elephants are elephants. Yeah, and we do know Jacob does like his elephants. So. Yeah. It's going to be a very uh, interesting thing to watch the duel between Jacob and Gunslinger, both are very uh, good uh, <clears throat> elephant players. Okay, well, it's it's not so true, but it's not so native. So, Eric's Wong is maybe locking in? I wonder if that's a real roll. So that'll be Ash Jackie and Eric Swan locked in on Slingers and Gentlemen. Okay, so that's Sun Tzu 2. So Sun Tzu NA is matching uh, that uh, Slinger presence, but they're matching that with Miltiades uh, Slingers. And especially on a map like Tether the Forest, and there's a lot of uphill. Uh, Fights, or just terrain curves, I guess. You can call it that way. Um, tall grasses or rather forests. Uh, you tend to lose vision a lot, and hunt is just so much more valuable on Turtlebook Forest than it is on Rubicon. But well, pretty much, Kanana is a superior pick over Miltiades in every Although single situation. Apart from dodging noting. charges. Yeah, it is worth noting though that. Um... Assuming you have a high enough mechanical skill to pull it off, that if the slinger's only job is dealing with the enemy slingers, uh, a Miltiades will be able to outfight a Kainane, assuming they're both 
um, near max range, so uh, Hunt cannot be used. As you can uh, fire with your multi ADs and then immediately use infantry charge and then cancel it to dodge the return shot, fire your next shot, and you get two volleys in before they hit you once, and then just superior numbers win the fight. Possible, although on Total Book Forest, uh, it will be yeah, there's to not, not a lot of space to pull that maneuver off. Yeah. It's definitely the Rubicon where you have all the space. So, even though we will see uh, Slinger vs. Slinger matchup again, um, it's going to be completely different. It will be a lot about securing vision for those Slingers, or rather yes. than the Slingers outplaying each other. Um, Adding the Mita Studo will be crucial. And now that there is, are zero watch towers on this map, oh, uh, there are still the... two. But there are four. Yes, yes, there are the ones. In oh, the back, right in the back row, right, yeah, next yeah. to the bases. But now, I, I mean, now that the um, the forward watch towers are not there, um, the cavalry is going to be very important for securing that vision to allow the uh, slingers to pour on effective fire. Hey, do we have any peaks? Uh, it's Sun Tzu's turn, uh, but before it was um, on Sun Tzu's side, they picked Spanats on Arminius Cavalry. So Spanats going back to his main unit, possibly a commander as well. Well, it looks like he prefers Arminius uh, on this map. And Arkin on lock in triple javelin tier 8. Sun Tzu and A answers with another set of javelin. This time tier 8, as uh, opposed to Ashjaki's tier 7, Javan, as well as one with Fixen on a Roman cavalry. So and that's I imagine now Sun Tzu last pick. I know Arklanon is a big fan of Trillibates, so I imagine he's valuing yeah. the Hurl a lot higher than the Ray Shields. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what advantage he can gain from his extended effective range. Uh, yeah, and Alberta was the conf uh, well, the preterm pick of uh, Triple Armenius Cavalry. Uh, and Eric Swang was Triple Slinger's uh, multi. Okay. Sun so, A is fixed. So now, okay. So now we've just got that last pick from Smirch. I'll be interested to see whether he uh, a light arty is a possible. That light arty again. Uh, there are some very very good positions to set it up on this map. Um, yep. Maybe we'll even you see a triple. Or... From your cavalry. Although in their situation, I think the previously picked one light arty double uh, javelin would be preferable in this scenario. Although it's very hard uh, to manage because Javelman you want them in front line and Light Artillery you want them in the back line. Um, so, yeah, my memory is failing a me a bit. Are, are states banned on all units or are they allowed on Banned engineers? completely. Banned completely, okay. So I'd quite like to see actually one Swordsman and two Light Artillery from Smircher. Because then the rest of his team doesn't need to worry about him. He's a self-contained unit and he can do his own thing. Yeah, just set up where, where he wants to, move when he needs to, uh, just keep that fire pouring on the entire game from long range. Gets effective kiting, it's hard for cavalry to deal with them if you've got your your own swordsman with you. Um, yeah, although the map features a lot of choke points and good fortified positions, uh, so there's no problem in really protecting uh, that light of the peak. If... Um, well, if we are even going to see that line to very big. This is highly likely. Um, it secures that range advantage that on map uh, like Total Book Forest is going to be very, very important. Um, and it can swing matches just by having that light artillery. But we'll see. Maybe they'll pick something else. Still waiting there. 
So they are still discussing. So they're, they're, whatever they're picking, they are not 100% sure on what they're doing. Yeah, the um, I feel like the range advantage is very important given that uh, Teutoburg Forest is a very, shall I say, strategically minded map, or as other people might say, it incentivizes camping with its many choke points and very defensible positions. So if you force the enemy to come to you, uh, you can quite often take a massive toll on their forces while they're just crossing. Yeah, it definitely favors camping. If you can force the enemy team to cross the river uh, to you, uh, that gives you huge advantage straight off the bat. And as we uh, see, Schmerch is going to pick that one light RT double jab and combo again. Is locked in? Okay. It looks like casters are ready. Mongoose, Hixfix, uh, one of the teams. No, they're not ready. Okay. Looks like everyone is ready to go. Hopefully. Yep, the battle has been started. You can see that by the help spam bug. <laughs> Is this a nice way to say that well, the battle has started? Oh, I see people asking about the EU accounts. So they there are new EU accounts with just renamed. Uh, well, they have the NA names. Uh, with Sun Sun front because that's their um, team tag. Well, everyone is Sun Sun apart from Satras. Skew you, Satras. <laughs> Ruining that fantasy. Um, uh, although I believe uh, the Sun Tzu NA team has taken some EU reinforcements. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, that's what I said. Yeah, much yep. Satras and Fixin. Yep, they are from Sun Tzu EU. And they have new accounts but their progress from NA accounts was copied over. So they have their NA stats and A NA units, so they don't have like everything unlocked, they have what they have on the NA accounts. Cut to their base or cut them down! Oh, is that spot? Sweet spot of camping. Uh, okay. Where am I? Here we go. Light artillery is going to deploy in the middle in the beginning, it looks like. We'll be hoping for a sweet first blood as Spanas is scouting forward. Spotting nothing. Uh, Spanas also going to the right side, scouting. Elephants are being put on the left side, not moving, just standing by. Although they're very, very far away from the main forest. I wonder what they want to do with them. So it looks like. Uh... Maybe he's just FK. So, Sun Tzu and A are getting their slingers set up where the old watch point used to be on the hill overlooking the river. Just a decent place to leave them in case anyone dares show their face. Yep, um, that's pretty much the best spot. They appear to have some sort of javelin ambush force almost on uh, the uh, right flank from my point of view. Yep. Sun Tzu's um, light artillery will... Oh, there we go. First in spotted. First buddy is going to go through for Sun Tzu. Uh, once Schmidt right clicks that unit. There we go. Yeah. Uh, Sun Tzu and That's A nice. uh, sending the Germanicus forward to do a bit of scouting, but Testudo will not save him from that light artillery. Yep. There we and go. There we first go. Blood. First blood achieved. Blood. Quite a few. A, a significant damage from one volley from one unit. Yeah, like five percent. Because of the tight formation. A little bit more. I don't know. Maybe check if he's AFK, but I think he just deployed there, and his his orders must have been to just stand by. So we have that light artillery still shooting. Um, Kano in the middle. Uh, hey, some slingshots onto Nubert as well from Jojo, coming through, punishing that scouting uh, attempt. Sun Tzu and I are bringing up their own ranged forces to try and contest, but with the cavalry retreating, they've lost all their vision. 
so they're not able to do a lot here. They also won't have Hunt available for them uh, to secure a vision for longer, even if Jojo hides behind a cliff or something. And you know that Kano's uh, unit was taking them almost down to half HP. So that scouting there is pretty much useless without any other pressure provided by Sun Tzu and 18. That's a huge, just a mistake. We have and Fixen approaching from the right side. Jacob showing that he's not in the AFK. <laughs> so now Sun Tzu and A are just being rained down upon by these slingers that they have no vision of. Yep, they're uh, pushing their heavily their return fire, Although they are about to be in range of the javelins. But it looks like they don't want to leave the long grass. It's yeah. worth noting that both teams' elephants are going to have to be very careful as each team has gone for a very, very heavy complement of javelins. With yeah. Sun Tzu is Sun Tzu not in a very good position to uh, defend from that push, uh, though. If you've retreated back, maybe they're looking up to set up a two-way like pincer maneuver. Um, uh, Eryx is a... winning the heavily the range matchup at the moment, although he has no test to do. He's now in a test dudo and Eric does not. So yeah, Jojo is. Yeah. Although it looks like Jojo is pulling out the test dudo, so if Eric can get some rear shots in, that will be some heavy damage. Yeah, he's um, but... he's returning because of the javelin pressure, and elephants are going to be on top of him as well. We've hyped up that elephant duel, but Jacob is on the opposite side of the map, making his way right now over there. Uh, followed by cavalry, Ooh. maybe looking to it delay. Looks him. like we're gonna get a cavalry Ooh. charge into Auckland on. Oh, that's beautiful charge! And Gunslinger damage. is already on top of him. Sun Tzu and he's A will gonna, the HP advantage he's now. He's gonna lose that cavalry unit, but he is more, matter, than, yeah. more yeah. than what was required of him. Another Piling charge in more cavalry. Those, those javelins are gonna rout. And especially yeah, with the roar provided by the elephants. Yeah, javelins are done uh, for just damage yeah. wise because of the damage output of the elephants and that beautiful charge by Nuberto. Uh, but it appears Sun Tzu are rolling up uh, Schmerch's javelins, getting some nice shots in with. That must be Trillivates into. Uh, Light also Bonsingers. in a position to shoot Gunslinger's elephants, but Jacob's elephants are in the way, and Jacob now and doesn't aim his stomp at Gunslinger Ooh. elephants. Gunslinger is aiming to do damage to Jacob. Jacob just Looks ignores like him. He's going after the javelins. Mer Merch is done for as well. Destroy X1 unit just getting outmaneuvered by a. Yeah, no uh, to charge him. No, no pike phalanx for him. Schmerch's javelin are being chased. No protection. He can also be pincered down by Kano. Kano is moving that unit, although he's not intercepting Schmerch's javelins. But they should uh, be also Jacob be done taking for. rare shots from three units of javelins. That's going to be some heavy damage on the elephants. Jojo, meantime, uh, also Raymond dead. Berg killed by Eric Swarm. Uh, Stroyak pushing out Eric Swung though, so he's going to be behind a rock with very little to accomplish. And well, Spanitz he has already is, done enough. Now it's yeah. the melee battle but that Spanitz, is uh, Spanitz crucial. coming round to finish off Eric Swung, so he won't be achieving anything like more this game. Schmerz is coming is in, able to provide that Caesar game. buffs can be crucial. He's still alive. Gunslinger now tries to run away from Jacker. Uh, the saving grace of Sun Tzu may be winning at Elfan Duel, but winning at Elfan Duel is nothing but, uh, certain yet. Jacob charges in uh, into Gunslinger with two of his elephants. Third one is delayed. Stomp now. Uh, no Ash Jackie is quite out of position, even though he has managed to take a big chunk out of Destroy X Pikes. But uh, Sun Tzu and A are going to have to take this melee fight without Caesar buffs. That elephant duel seems to be uh, in the advantage of Jacob at the moment. Now Gunslinger but has now the one javelins are rolling up. And Javelins are there to provide that very crucial damage. One volley equals uh, pretty much Gunsling one elephant. Is bringing here. one elephant out, so... Yeah, they all have that one elephant yeah. alive, and they still have the advantage. Uh, yep, that's Jacob's elephant down, and the other elephant of Gunslinger very, very alive, but still. Uh, not being uh, killed Smirch by Lightheart. still has a few javelins left, so he... Yeah, he's brought down that elephant. The next one will fall very shortly. Yep, uh, no more elephants left on the uh, Ashjaki's gentleman now being chased down by Koyuska, fix and trying to interrupt yeah. him. Uh, and very good. Sotaruts as well, they're being. Uh, yeah, Stroik is there, but between it's... Stroy X Pikes and. That's uh, five gentlemen units. Now... That can be now eliminated. Six even. Uh, but there's uh, not but enough now pressure. Now the uh, Germanicus is coming up, so we see a nice Vici, I believe, and then the Germanicus just piles into the pikes. There's Sun nothing they can do, silence. Sunso and A cavalry should be able to save uh, the javelin from the incoming yep. Koizuska infantry. Strike is now fighting, and not in a phalanx, in fight the shade, uh, or wise choice I would actually say, against Kano X uh, infantry, but that's Vengeance plus Vichy. Uh, so Kano will be able to kill Strike very quickly, but he pulls out right now, fearing those javelin. Uh, well, so Terra's taking a charge from Spanats. Uh, oh, yeah. He's gonna get mopped up. 
It's still very, very close, just 30 points away from each other. And now Sun Tzu look like they are in a positional uh, advantage. Fixing charging into Spanats. Uh, good charging there. Um, and Roman Cavalry will beat the uh, Barbarian Cavalry. One of the Satyrus gentlemen has been caught out. The Azjaki gentlemen are also pinned down. Also, but they're okay, maybe still able really. to fire fully, so... They're still striking there. They can get enough damage off Closing in with another unit. Koyuske charging in as well. They're going some heavy pings in there. Spanats in an equal fight against Fixen. That Satyrus unit is irrelevant with just two models. Still can provide Caesar vibes though. Uh, they still have some damage output. Oh, okay, not really from the fight either, really, because that's one one in one model alive. Spanats Looks now like trying to charge into Ashjaki, are failing to do so, but so Sun Tzu and A's uh, infantry is all but dead. All they have now is javelins uh, and one cane. Yeah, one. Ooh, that's unit. really really close battle, but oh, yeah. Ashjaki is pinned down with nowhere to run. Yeah. Uh, strike and Koyusuke yeah. will close in. Koyusuke actually charging at the back of Strike, stopping them both, maybe allowing this gentleman to escape a little. Uh, no, Ajaki is coming back there. The HP advantage finally swinging back into Sun Tzu's favor at the very Jojo end. coming with a two model unit, maybe apply some hunts to get some routes. Or maybe charge in a man fight. Yeah, that's impossible. Yeah, Schmerch providing those buffs as well with his light artillery. Are roaming around there. Archelon's still alive with eight models, and we've been laughing at these low model units, but <laughs> they, when it's down to so work. few men, yeah. uh, it's very, very close, and uh, they're still going to be significant. When those low model units are on a support commander such as Caesar, the, yeah, and that gentleman unit is just effective. one hunt away from being routed. There it goes. Yeah. Uh, that will rub. And that's 1 0 to Sun Tzu after a very, very close and exciting matchup. Sun Tzu and A showing that there are no strangers to organized fights on the highest level. Holy crap, that was one hell of a battle. And that was after Sun Tzu and A pushed into Sun Tzu's fortified positions. Uh, they weren't that well fortified, so yeah, that's a mistake on the Sun Tzu side. But uh, let me just uh, give a call to leave. Let's have a look oh, at the scoreboard. Koyosuke with uh, most damage dealt on the Sun Tzu side. Gunslinger, well, obviously, with the most damage on Sun Tzu NA side. And. <laughs> I don't know here. Oh, I left the battle and it didn't show me the scoreboard. Rip. Well, you have to look at the scoreboard while in the battle. Yeah, but I was hoping there'd be like the MVP screen and stuff. Oh, there isn't. <laughs> well, if, if players are not going to leave them, then I guess there's no point in living. Um, but anyway, um, it's we're, one zero to. Already left. That's why I get for listening to you. Damn, <laughs> we could have had an, uh, we could have had a sick tier one skill matchup. Oh yeah, It'd been great. I mean, who next right time, next who right who right clicks the enemy harder? Well, we've we've gone for different commander choices. We can see which one could pay off. Does haste outweigh on momentum? <laughs> okay, um, so now. Well, we have a, another result in from the last quarterfinal, I believe. No, uh, so let's have a look at that. Anyone yep. that doesn't want spoilers, watching this on YouTube or Twitch VODs, skip ahead 30 odd seconds. And Sons of Zeus have won 2 0 over Rebel Alliance. So they will now be playing Sons of Zeus United in the second semi final. In semi final, too. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Let me update the bracket on challenge. A report score of Zeus 2 0 over the Rebel Alliance. Zeus so far undefeated. Going into that since we had the battle, since we had the also with a convincing victory over uh, late nights, though well, I haven't watched the battles, they might have been very close as well. But it's a 2 0 nonetheless. So, so far we've only had one 2 1, which is Sunsunay versus Old School. Well, maybe we'll have another 2 1 in this uh, matchup because that battle was extremely close and Sunsunay had uh, an HP advantage for a very, very long time. Suns was just very barely winning by the skin of their teeth, to be honest. Uh, so, well, looking forward to the uh, second match, sides reversed. And we'll see how that goes.
that light light artillery pick I think uh, was crucial for Sun Tzu though making sure that they can defend on that map rather than having to advance and cross that river um, yeah it was just proven crucial yeah the um the damage that it provides isn't massive but like as you said with the the first blood in these coordinated mm -hmm. uh team battles the utility provided just by having the longest range unit is very powerful and you're not by only bringing one you're securing that without having to waste a full player's worth on yeah also the ability load. to shoot for the studios um, yeah. that's another uh, very important utility that light artillery brings that no other unit brings. So yeah, definitely a crucial pick. But now it's going to be Sunso NA with that last pick advantage. Um, so yeah, we're going to see if they can pull out some surprises against Sunso, or if they even have an answer to uh, Schmidt's light artillery. <laughs> 